Hey everyone, let's talk about what linear spline interpolation is and how we go about using it. Firstly, what is linear spline interpolation? In the past video, we talked about what spline interpolation is. So if you missed that video, check out the link in the description down below. In linear spline interpolation, we use the assumption that between our data points of interest, our system is linear. This means that we can connect our data points directly through straight lines, which, if you remember, is a first order polynomial. Or, if we wish to interpolate between multiple data points, it is a series of segmented straight lines that might look something like this. As you can see, we usually get these unwanted sharp changes in our function, and you may see these called knots. These are unideal, and why cubic splines are much more commonly used. However, these will be the subject of our next numerical methods theory video. So, now that we have an idea of what linear spline interpolation looks like, how do we go about actually finding an interpolating function such that we can find an output along this line here? Well, in a linear spline interpolation function, we have a piecewise function, where each linear spline is a simple straight line equation with the domain of the bounding data points. So, for example, if we wanted to define a linear spline for the following three subset of data points, we would have the following. Therefore, we can say that any general linear spline interpolation between two points can be written as the following, which is simply the equation of a straight line, where this term here is simply our slope, m. In the coming videos, we will complete a few example videos on linear spline interpolation. I hope that this video helped your understanding of the theory behind linear spline interpolation and how we go about using it. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.